What's up everybody, I'm Duncan E. Deep, and today you might be wondering why are there two 3DSs, a GameCube controller, and a weird wire on my screen? And you should be able to guess from the title, but I'm going to be talking about a 3DS modification today. It's going to be a GameCube modification for the 3DS. And first of all, I want to make sure that you guys understand what the modification entails. So I'm going to show you a normal capture carded 3DS. So this is my Japanese 3DS. It's what I use to play Monster Hunter and uh, Pokemon as well, actually, I play on this. And as you can see, it's slightly bulkier than usual because that's what the capture card looks like. That's the loopy capture card, the best capture card on the market. It's reliable. It doesn't break. Uh, and even if it does somehow manage to break, if you throw it down a flight of stairs or something, Loopy does do free repair. You send it in, he'll fix it free of charge, unlike the other capture card provider, who if it breaks, they will charge you basically for a new capture card. Plus, you have to ship it back to Japan. They will charge you import fees, everything. You will pay the earth for the other capture card. So this 3DS, as you can see, is identical. The only difference is that here you can see, you might have noticed the other capture card's port. This one is upside down, and the reason for this was to make space inside, and the final difference is this little port here. So this port here is very important, keep an eye on that, because I'm about to show you what I mean. So I'm going to move this one out of the way now, and we're going to get this ready. So let me just unwind this cable. All right, so first things first, we take this cable here, which is, um, it's a simple little cable with a GameCube port on one end, three prongs on the other. And I can't remember which way up it, pro it plugs, I always get this wrong. And we plug it into the 3DS. Now, hopefully you can see what's going on on the screen. If you can't, I will do an extra bit with a close-up if I can. And you just plug the GameCube controller in. So once the GameCube controller's in, you can see the GameCube controller, you can see the cable. I'm going to try and get everything in the camera. So there it is. And no trickery, there's no screen capture here. This is all done in person. I'm just going to select different things with the GameCube controller. So not too impressive so far, we've just got a control stick, but if we boot up Super Smash Bros, we can see just the extent of this mod. Um, I'm gonna zoom in on the screen. If I can try and get the GameCube and the screen in one, but zoomed in, that would be great. I'm gonna try my best to get good footage for you here so that you can actually see what's going on. So I might not be playing my best because I've got my hands around a camera and all of that nonsense, but we're gonna try our best here, come on. As soon as Smash Bros boots up. So here we go, we've got Smash Bros. Sorry, it's a downloaded copy. It sometimes takes a while to boot up on the 3DS. The new 3DS boots it a lot faster, so yeah, props to the new 3DS. So if we go into a match here and we're just going to select a character and set it to stock. And yeah, you guys might have seen another mod online um, of the similar thing, but it's got a huge card, a massive ugly card on the back of the 3DS and it really doesn't work very well. Uh, it doesn't have C-Stick, it's very unresponsive. This is the one and only Loopy mod made by Loopy. I'm going to link his website down below if you wanna go and get a capture card. But as you can see, I can do everything with this. I can throw that, I can even, and this is the important part, use the C-Stick. So the C-Stick is programmed to work with this mod. As you can see, I can do C-Stick smashes, I can do running up smashes, I can do everything you want with the C-Stick. And the best part of that is, if you watch a normal smash attack, using just the side and A, you can see the character flash. Flash once, you know, it's a delay. If you do it with the C-Stick, it's instant because it's such a quick input. So because of this, because of the advantage of that C-Stick smash, it really does feel like cheating. So I do not use this online. I did for a little while, I'm not gonna lie, I did about 150 matches online. I won 148 of them. And to be honest, I felt like I was cheating because I could do stuff that people just could not do. I'm really not sure if this picked it up well on the camera. I really hope it did. But as you can see, guys, it's an absolutely minuscule mod. It really is. It's tiny. It doesn't take up any extra space. It doesn't drain any extra power when you're not using it. So, because I did a test, I put my Japanese 3DS and my standard 3DS on at the same time. And this standard 3DS, as it's um, newer and it's less used, it actually lasted longer. So, you know, I, I'm going to say, as far as I can tell, it doesn't drain any extra power. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I will be back with more Smash Bros. videos later. I know I've kind of abandoned that for Glory series. I've got to say, once I started using this controller, I couldn't stop. I couldn't go back to using the 3DS. And then the problem with that is I felt like I was cheating going on for Glory. And I didn't want to upload a video of me cheating. And it was all very difficult. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to do it for Glory mode. And what I'll do is I'll do it on my Japanese 3DS so that you guys know that I'm not using this controller. Because I don't want to cheat. And as you can see, the Japanese 3DS 
does not have the port for this. I do not have the mod on this. So completely legitimate for glory will be happening. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you next time.